Place. This is Place Royale, the most historic square in the entire city. Now, it is called Royale because of the statue of Louis XIV that's here. But that's not what makes it so historic. This spot where I'm standing is where Quebec City began in 1608. That's right. This is where Samuel de Champlain established his colony here in the New World. Just off the square is the oldest stone church in North America, the Notre Dame de Victoire Church, built in 1688. And doesn't it feel like a scene straight out of Beauty and the Beast here? It is incredible. You can almost feel that 400-year-old history as you stroll the cobblestone square. But Place Royale isn't the only section of Quebec City related to Champlain. There is an entire quarter with a darling old town feel named for him too. It is called Cartier Petit Champlain, and it is really like stepping back in time to the shops, taverns, and homes of that early New France settlement. This spot was the commercial center for the colony near the port, so all those fur traders set up their new lives here in the New World. One of the most famous homes is this one, the home of explorer and fur trader Louis Joliet. Which brings us to a kind of important part about the city. Quatier Petit Champlain is part of Quebec City's lower town, which is much, much lower than the main part of the city on the cliff above. And there are only two ways to get here. These super steep stairs that wind around and around like a corkscrew. One portion is actually called the breakneck stairs for a pretty clear reason. Yikes! The other way to get here is on the incredible 130-year-old Old Quebec Funicular. Built in 1879, it is 210 feet long and ends right inside old Louis Joliet's house. Not sure what he would think about that, but it sure is easier than climbing all those breakneck steps. And the reason the funicular was built brings us to why Quebec City is a city split in two. Since the very beginning in the early 1600s, Quebec has been split into the Basse Ville, the lower town, and the Haute Ville, the upper town. But why have half the city down here and the other half up here? For the answer to that, we go up to the upper town, but under the boardwalk. This may look like we're wandering around underground, but actually this was the ground level back in the 1600s when those early settlers established their fort here. So right now we're standing on the level that's just next to the cliff and then down at the bottom of the cliff is sort of the lower part. Was it the lower part first, then the upper town, or was it all developed around the same time? The lower town was developed first with Champlain for the tra for, for trade uh, um, purpose. Uh, eventually the fort is built here and with the, the governors that will arrive uh, we will s really see that the city will develop in kind of a medieval type of city with the lower town close to the harbor where the population live and the upper town, the defense, the fort, uh, the big cathedral, the house of the governor, so basically the nobles will live in the upper town and have a nice view to control the St. Lawrence River as well. So at first Quebec City was divided literally into the lower class down here and the upper class up here. And the upper town was the perfect spot for Quebec's upper class castle. Why was a castle built? This is a very important part of the uh, history. It was dedicated to whom and why was it so important to build a castle here? St. Louis Castle is the official residence of the governor. The governor who represents the king, the queen, that was in Europe. 32 of the 40 colonial governors in Canada stayed inside of St. Louis Castle. That means all the French one and most of the British one as, as well. And fortunately, a lot of the foundation and a few walls are still here. This was the kitchen. This was the supersized pantry. And this is where additional rooms and halls were. It is amazing to be able to walk through them today. Sadly, the castle burned down in the mid 1800s and later this boardwalk was put over top of it. So no more castle for Quebec City. Or is there?